Hi Pisces, it is Saturday today, April 27th, 2024. I'm going to use this vintage deck that I have right here. Um, it doesn't, I didn't do any um, markings on these cards. So if anybody shows up naked in here, I'll just hurry and, and cover them with another card or something. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know right now at the time they're viewing this reading? What does Pisces need to know? Time for our daily get-together, Pisces. If you're new here, I'm Jennifer. I know we have some new subscribers. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know right now at the time they're viewing this video? What does Pisces need to know? What is hidden? What is hidden with the moon? You have strength, Leo energy, and then you have the eight of swords. And then you have a tower. There's something here that you're not seeing, something, some type of information that you're going to find out. Um, this, this information that you're going to find out, um, it has to do with someone else, Pisces, and whoever this person is, they may have Leo in their chart. Someone here in your energy is struggling. The Fool, Aries energy. And then you have Ten of Wands. Yeah, someone here that you're least expecting to hear from also. All right. And then you have the Knight of Rods. And then you have the Devil. This is Capricorn energy. So there's someone here that you're least expecting to hear from. In fact, when I say this to you, this person is not even going to come into your mind, okay? You're not even going to... The, this person, whoever this is, that you would least be expecting to hear from to give you some type of message is someone that will not even come into your mind all right even as i tell you it's someone you're least expecting to hear from the next card you have is the queen of rods the queen of wands i'm just going to say what they what they are in the rider weight tarot so the queen of wands and then you have the six of pentacles you have the Page of Swords, and you have the Two of Pentacles. I also have someone here that watches you, Pisces. So let's clarify this energy and let's find out what's going on here. Because there's someone here, someone here that you know. It's going through a tower moment. Or so, someone is going. Someone has a great difficult thing happening in their lives right now. They want to send you a message. Um, the five of wands is here, so I feel like they're they're fighting an inner battle here about sending you this message but it feels really important to me that they send you this message this message it could have something to do with someone is ill someone doesn't feel good and they've been holding back from contacting you and this feels like specific messages for someone but I really feel like you're going to receive this message, this messenger coming through to let you know about this, this person. Tell me why, they, or this person, someone could be in jail. 
It doesn't have to be a sickness. Tell me why the Eight of Swords is here. You have the Three of Cups. And you have the Nine of Wands. Yeah, this is, this is someone that I feel like they, they feel like there's other people here involved that they can't tell directly about the situation. And so they're going through you. They're going through you to tell you so that you can tell whoever else here needs to know. Tell me who these three of cups are. Yeah, I really don't feel like it's you, Pisces. I feel like I feel like there's someone here that is experiencing some type of loss something's something's changing in their life they're experiencing some type of loss something that they cannot fix themselves and it seems to me like as if you have energies around you that are connected connected to you these three cups may be children but you are the one who is in direct contact with these other people that you need to send the message, that you need to deliver the message, maybe in person. They feel stuck. They don't know they don't know any other way of doing this other than to contact you to tell you about this. The tower is here. Please do not take these messages if they don't resonate with you because this is this is a very, very specific reading that spirits want me to get out for someone. Specific messages to prepare you for this tower moment. Tell me why the tower is here. The Six of Wands. The Ten of Swords, the Lovers, and the Ace of Pentacles. Gemini is here with the Lovers. Okay, so in the center of the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords, something has ended, something has begun. There's three people here. There's you and there's two other people um, in the lover's energy. And I'm seeing um, someone here that is connected with maybe an ex of yours where something new has begun with that ex. They're going to tell you, they need to talk to you. This is, for a lot of you, this will be the person that your ex is with sending you some type of message. Something has ended with you and this person, but something began with this other person. All right, and so you're somehow tied in this lover's energy, all right, as one of the lovers of their life, of this person's life. You have the Six of Wands here. I feel like um, you may receive a message through an email or something that is visible through the public eye, all right, because this person um, may not have your direct phone number. And so they reach out here. Tell me why the fool is here. You have the nine of swords. 
you're completely unaware of this situation. There's someone here that is at a distance from you, more than likely with the three of wands. And you... Um, Boy, this person is so, oh my gosh. They're in such a heavy energy. There's so much difficulty here in this person's energy. They're really, really up in their head thinking they're worried. They don't know who to contact. It's like, but you are the one. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups. Yeah, see messages coming in. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups. The Three of Pentacles. I, I really am feeling like the Queen of Cups is here. I really am feeling like there could be a Leo here. I have the sun on the bottom of the deck again. I'm really feeling like um, you're receiving these messages, you know, with a kind, loving, giving heart. All right. You're receiving these messages and you're very, very kind to this person. This person may feel worried about contacting you because this this could be some type of an extension where this is someone that you've never even spoken to, but they're somehow connected to you energetically. I feel like this person is with an ex of yours or someone that you used to know. Tell me why the Ten of Wands is here in the center of the reading. Here you are, Pisces. You have the Four of Wands and you have the Ten of Pentacles. This person is carrying a lot of burdens here with the Ten of Wands. Um, this person is really struggling and I'm, it's like you seem to be a mystery to whoever this is, which makes sense to me because they don't know what they're going to get in response when they contact you because this is, it's someone that you used to know. It could have been a marriage, a deep love of your life. All right, in the past, and this is someone that they're connected with. And they view you as a high priestess, so they see you as being mysterious, as if you have this curtain behind you. They don't know what to expect when they come to you with this message, with this weight on their back. And it's like you open the doors with the Four of Wands. You're opening the doors and you're letting them in. You're letting them in. You're approaching this person with love and respect. Yeah, it's like you're letting them into your home or into your world. And then the next card you have is the Knight of Rods. Tell me why the Knight of Rods. Yeah, see this person. Um, they know of you. And like I said, they're somehow connected to you. And they are... Or someone here with their head wrapped. It's almost like someone here is sick. Someone here. Um, needs to tell you something. Someone that you don't talk to. Tell me why. The Knight of Rods is here. You have the Ace of Rods. The King of Swords. See, what's interesting is I really see someone here that they're kind of intimidated by you, Pisces. This is someone that you would least expect to hear from. I cannot um, 
I cannot say that enough. And it's a person who is connected somehow with a person that you used to know or that you used to love or that you used to be married to. There could be a divorce here. There could have been, there could be this block in communication where you haven't heard from this person in maybe even years for some of you. And there there's someone here that that's coming in and coming towards you here. This might be a cancer with the chariot and it's it, whatever this energy is whatever is approaching you here it opens up some type of doorway into a different world um, of someone that you've never even spoken to before but you know of them the next card you have is you have the devil. This is Capricorn energy. And then you have the Queen of Rods and you have the Six of Pentacles here. Tell me why the devil is here. You have the Four of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, and you have the Nine of Pentacles. You have the Empress here. This is Taurus energy, but there's someone here that you that you give to Pisces in the energy of the Empress. You show a lot of compassion to this person. <coughs> and right here, I'm seeing the energy changing. I'm seeing a different message coming through for you right here. I'm feeling like this is a separate energy. There's someone here that you're somehow attached to with the devil energy. Um, someone that you're holding on to, you're afraid to let this person or whatever this energy away from you. You hold it very, you hold it onto it tightly. There is a need for this person or this job or whatever this is to be in your life. Um, but I'm seeing a separate message coming through. There's actually. This is actually someone that you give to. You could give to them financially in some way. It's like you're letting them into your garden and they take a piece of... They take a piece. Maybe even a big chunk. But this, this person comes to you looking and saying things, alright? Saying things as if I would never, ever, ever take from you, steal from you, lie to you. I would never do any of these things with the most sincerest face. And um, this person's actually, just, just so that you know, you know, this person lying to you. They can't really hurt you in any way. They, they've taken, they've taken something from you here. Many, Maybe many times they've taken a little bit here, a little bit there in pieces they take from you. And it's like you're Pisces, your intuition's very strong. And you know that this person is doing this, but you're somehow kind of not really saying anything and just watching to see what, you know, how they're going to act or what they're going to do next. They feel like they're taking something out of this garden. It's like when you're not looking, but you see, you know what this person is doing. Tell me why the Queen of Rods is here. You feel a commitment, somehow a commitment here to this person. Tell me why the Queen of Rods is here. You have the Four of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. This person could come to you often, Pisces. It, it's like you already know. You already know, you know, that you have this devil energy existing around you, but you kind of ignore it. You have the Four of Cups here. You kind of, you might even feel sorry for this person in a way. 
but you have it to give whatever it is that they're taking from you and the knight of swords energy is someone who is immature they um they come to you and they speak a lot of truth but within the truth there's always some lies thrown in but this is something that you already know and so i don't know but spirits are bringing it up here in your energy but i feel like this up here at the beginning of your reading is something that you should be aware of and to approach this situation when you hear from whoever this person is um with with love and empathy tell me why the six of pentacles is here you have the ace of swords you're gonna find out the truth exactly the truth even though your intuition's been hinting you're going to see the exact truth here of what someone has been hiding what they're trying to take from you and for a lot of you this is financially motivated or something because this person has has a lack of this person could show you two different sides of them they could show you that they are you know dependable stable they have your best interest at heart and in a way they do but this person has is suffering from some type of lack and it's financially motivated or something along those lines where they feel like they feel like um they have to have this and so they don't want to take from you it's almost like a feeling of guilt but they do it because they feel like they have to have it for some reason they may have an addiction or something pisces because there's something driving this person to try to to try to take what they can it's like little bits of, little pieces from your garden that they're not showing you all right and then you have the page of swords and you have the two of pentacles here tell me why the page of swords is here who's looking who's watching pisces who's looking and watching pisces the hanged man see there's that same energy here six of pentacles the queen of rods this person they may be a woman all right with the queen of rods this could be an aries leo or a sagittarius the six of pentacles is here so It's very, I'm going to skip over here for a second. It's very difficult for this person to send you this message to talk to you, all right? And um, it's almost an energy here of, with the Six of Pentacles, they, they don't know who else to come. They don't know you know any other way around this but to come and approach you i feel like they feel like it's the best thing to do it's the you see the scales here it's justice it's the right thing to do is to give you at least a little bit of information here the hanged man is here there um this is pisces energy this is your energy pisces and so they're they're looking at you know sacrificing themselves in some way maybe their ego by approaching you and talking to you tell me more about the hanged man see it's someone someone that is connected to you someone that you used to love like an old lover a marriage something that used to exist in the past and they're very, very slow about approaching you, talking to you. But they will be talking to you. Tell me why the Two of Pentacles is here. See, there could be a child involved here. 
Tell me why. Yeah, it's like there's some energy that exists here and I feel like it I feel like it exists somewhere in the past. All right? And it's it's coming back around again here. Someone has something to tell you and I'm not saying this is an ex who wants to come back into your life, not at all. It's someone that has some type of information that you know that they need to tell you because you may have children with this ex that you don't speak to i don't know but it somehow causes you um to think about you know when you left this person there was still love here in these cups and i feel like you may feel like you may want to talk to this person or something after you receive these messages just to um just before this chapter is finalized before it's complete you may have some words that you want to say to whoever this person is I want to pick up some direct messages for you guys. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know right now? What does Pisces need to know right now? You have the Two of Cups showing up, and then you have the King of Swords here showing up. Yeah, there's a connection here. And this King of Swords, this this is like um, a doctor, a lawyer, a policeman, something in the legal system. Tell me... You have the Queen of Pentacles, and you have the Five of Swords. There's someone here in your energy, Pisces, that is doing something. They're doing something here where you may have a few words with this person because you could have a strong desire to know the truth. Um, there could be accusations made here. And... Um, you making a decision to to really have a conversation with someone here in your energy someone that you know that there's this devil you, devil energy stuck around you this person they have addictions I don't know it could be gambling it could be um, anything all right but I see you having a conversation with this person here because something here is going to be brought to your attention. It's going to be put in the light. It's going to be made very obvious to you. And you will have the facts like, hey, you did this. All right. I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for taking the time to leave me a comment. Um, and for sharing all of your beautiful, good energy through the comment session section all the messages you guys send to me they're very healing to me i love you guys to the moon and back and we'll meet back here again tomorrow pisces namaste